So next up for unit reviews, we're going to be doing a unit review on this old Mighty Mask. Okay, so he comes out as a World Tournament reward card for you grinding up to 23 million points, of course, during the 25th World Tournament for JP and the 21st World Tournament for Global. So August 10th of 2018 for JP and June 22nd of 2018 for Global. Okay, let's just go ahead and talk about this guy. Of course, how this guy looked for his meta and all the other good stuff. I do have his uh, post Awakening as well as his post EZA pulled up and ready to go. And yeah, that's going to be that. All right, so what do we have here? This card comes out during the Battle Royale meta, of course, because of course Battle Royale was the toughest content in the game back at the time. Uh, so let's see, guys. So Mischievous Curiosity Mighty Mask. Uh, his leader skill is a two key and 50% of the stats too physical. Of course, EZ area wasn't out at the time, so I mean this is virtually a useless leader skill um, for the time, and it is SSR. Um, that's that's really it, honestly. So, the super attack, that being the final cannon, 30% attack and defense for one turn, obviously a good super attack effect. And his passive, 80% attack and defense are facing only one enemy, and he gets guaranteed dodge for one turn when your HP is 40% or below once only. So that is, of course, a very strong ability. But we have uh, a couple of issues here. Uh, his link set is terrible. He is on a severe lack of categories, if not any category. Let me just go ahead and double check when did this old ass jackie chun come out um because i'm pretty certain that he was the first world tournament lead if jackie chun did not come out by the time this guy was out then that means that this guy had no categories because boo saga doesn't get there first actually no no no, no. Boo, yeah boo saga does have a lead right we're gonna we're gonna check that in just a second let me see this old jackie chun he was out at the time, but yeah, but he's not really a real category lead, right? Because, of course, 170% were the real category leads at the time, right? Um, so, yes, he did have a world tournament. Earth Bear Fighters did not have a leader skill at that time. And tournament participants, of course, did not have a leader skill um, at the time either. So, he didn't have Earth Bear Fighters or tournament participants. And uh, Boo Saga. Let me just double check Boo Saga. If I remember correctly, uh, STR Ultimate Gohan. Is he a Boo Saga lead? I do not remember. No, he's a hybrid Sans lead. Yeah, I, I'm very certain he's a hybrid Sans or a Boo Saga lead. It's one of those. Um, we're we're about to see right now. Okay, so is he a Boo Saga? He is not. It. I was thinking of physical Super Vegeta. Okay, so he must be a hybrid Sans lead. We got to clear this up right now because I I got to get this out of my mind. And then, and also on. Of course, on the off note, I'm also certain that STR uh, Ultimate Gohan, didn't he come out, I, if I remember correctly, September 1st, right? I think it was around the beginning of September, September of 2017. I'm very certain that wasn't he the first Dokkan Fest to come out? Of course, my Google Chrome is loading like molasses, guys. I'm sorry. So if you guys just see units just, uh, uh, just all around the screen, I'm sorry about that. Um, back to what I was saying, S tier ultimate goal, I think it was September 1st to be exact, because I did use that guy in a couple of unit reviews in the past, and I do remember his, I believe, it was September 1st, it had to be, around the first week of September of 2017 for JP, right, we're gonna see right now, oh my god, my Google Chrome is loading uber slow, okay, wow, this, oh, okay, never mind, so, yeah, okay, I was right, yeah, because I, I remember, I remember, uh, talking about the Dota Confess back then at the time, and, this guy's the date of his release i remember this okay so yeah i was correct and he is for hybrid sands um why aren't these guys in hybrid sands um i also saw something that's pretty interesting about this card that this card doesn't have this card is missing categories and someone pointed it out inside the comment section for the dokkan wiki but we're going to get to that in the future of this video so um a couple problems with this card so for this card's time during the battle row meta um, we have one very big issue. This card starts out with no attack and defensive buff, and it is because of this ability right over here. Guys, Battle Road, when it, around the time where it was the toughest content in the game, what is the main thing about Battle Road when, of course, battling those enemies? You're going to, you're always, almost always, going to be going up against more than one enemy. So this card getting its attack and defensive buff when facing only one enemy is a huge, huge issue. Now, granted, could this guy be used for Dokkan Battlefield? I would say, yes, he can probably clutch it up inside Dokkan Battlefield. Um, Granted, yes, he's going to have his attack and defensive buff in Battlefield. Yes, he's going to be able to get this off inside Battlefield. That Granted, the boss doesn't super him and kill him. But the thing is, is that for Metacon, so this guy is a 
fish. He is just dead in the water. Uh, he's just not going to work. He's not. He's cooked. Because he has no attack and defensive buff. And he doesn't activate this unless you are below the HP threshold. Let me tell you guys something. Um, an item is not saving this guy inside Battle Road. Because the issue is that he has no attack and defensive buff pre-super attack to fall back on with that item up. So he has to have a double item up for this guy to be effective in Battle Road. Now granted, this 100% chance to dodge is strong. But the problem is, and still is today, is that these bosses kill you in one shot. I mean, look at the uh, Memorial Battles uh, Gogeta. Look at the Memorial Battle Janemba. They kill you instantaneously, right? And, I mean, dodge being one of the, if not the strongest mechanic in the game, or one of the strongest mechanics in the game, depending on what you talk to, um, he's not getting this off side battle. He's just not. He has to have, he has to have two items every time he's on turn. He has to. He needs it. Because he's not going to have no attack defensive buff. And that's it. Yeah. You're not using him in battle road. Absolutely not. Even with this, this is a very strong mechanic for battle road. Uh, but, he, yeah, it's not going to work. So, the, the main issues with him for him being used in Battle Road is, A, his entire passive is not going to be up. Now, granted, yes, there are specific fights in Battle Road where you're facing only one enemy. But, even if then, that one enemy hits like a Mack truck. So, would it be crazy to say that maybe that double item won't work? It depends on what double item you're using, but I mean, that's probably going a little bit overboard. The, the thing is, is that you're not using him in battle. That is just going to be that. Because his passive is pretty much inactive. You cannot activate any part of his passive as an SSR inside battle road. Um, now granted, he's going to get his attack and defensive up when he does a super. But pre-super attack, he is getting blown to bits. Even if then he does a super, he's still going to get cooked. Yeah. Link set is just absolutely just terrible. I mean, shocking speed is nice. Um, flee. I mean, uh... Flea at the time is just one key when HP is 30% or less. This is just terrible. It's so bad. Yeah, we have to look at only Link level 1 back at the time. I don't want to make the mistake because Link leveling wasn't back uh, inside 2018. So horrendous Link set. Um, his passive was not up during Battle Road. Um, he, has a good, he has a good super attack effect. Um, he's on a very severe lack of categories. It's like World Tournament was out at the time because, of course, the, uh, the category had uh, that old ass in Jackie Chun. As well as Boo Saka being up at the time. But yeah, he had two categories at the time. Link set was just terrible. His passive was not active. Um, he had a good uh, super attack um, effect. But that was really it. That's all. But even if then, he's SSR with very, very low stats. And that was just not going to work. Now, granted, this is a very strong ability. But that's it. This is the best thing about his card. But even if then, it doesn't matter. He's SSR from the, from the world tournament. But uh, yeah, that's, that's all. So... Moving on over to the post awakening. Uh, <laughs> so let's see what we got here. So he gets his awakening July 23rd of 2021. So he gets his awakening three days after my birthday, W. Okay, so what do we have here? So his leader skill is now buffed up from three key and 50% of the stats. No, it's two key and 50% of the stats to three key and 70% of the stats. And his super attack, he gets 50% attack and defense one turn. So it's obviously buffed up, but it's much more better. He gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 150% attack and defense if only one enemy. And he gets guaranteed dodge for one turn. And then after that turn, he gets a 50% chance to dodge when HP is 50% or less. Okay. So within that turn of him being below that HP threshold, he gets that guaranteed dodge within that one turn. And then after that turn, he gets that 50% chance to dodge. Not bad. Not bad. But even if then, for the God of Event meta, he's still a dodge or die unit. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely a dodge or die unit. Let me tell you guys something. Um, those God of Event bosses were very unforgiving. Even maybe at the time. Yeah, no, hell yeah. They were unforgiving. Oh, absolutely. And he gets guaranteed dodge for one turn with HP is 30% or less, which you will rarely ever see inside the God Event, uh, because the thing is that the God Event was heavily reliant on dodge units and revival units. So yeah, and units of course, being able to tank uh, those high defensive units, I would be able to tank uh, normals too, of course, um, as well as damage. I mean, it was a bit of a mix of a bunch of things, but more so it was like, it was just dodge or like dodge and revival 
um, cards, as well as the units that, that are able to tank the normals, and uh, the very rare cases where the units will be able to tank the super attacks. So, um, let's see. So this card can get up to two guaranteed dodges inside of his kit, up to a 50% chance to dodge afterwards for this specific part of his kit, up to 300% attack and defense, and a 50% uh, attack and defensive raise for one turn in their super attack effect. I would say they definitely got much better, but even if then, um, if you're not proccing this part of their card, then they're they're utterly useless. They are. I mean, type advantage. Could they work against some of those specific God of Man bosses? I would probably. Is, am I taking it too far? Because this is a low ass defensive stat. Probably not. Probably not. Can they take normals against God of Man bosses with 300% attack and defense as well as 50% attack and defense one turn? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe not. Huh. I don't know. I don't. May, no. This card can probably work in the God of Man. Probably. And, but it's very boss reliant. And I feel like what saves them for the God event is that if one of the cards that take a heavy damage from a normal attack or like takes any super attack damage while a specific item is up, um, they'll be able to get this off. Um, but the only thing is that getting that HP, that this right here is just like, you're not getting this off in the God event. This is manageable getting below this 50% or less HP threshold, but you're not getting this. I would probably say you... You can probably make something happen, but the thing is that this card has to have dupes, and this card has to be built full dodge because this is a dodge or die character. Maybe I'm giving this card too much, to like too much, uh, too much props. Yeah, cause yeah, no, yeah, no, you're not using this guy at the God event. No, no, World Tournament in in 2021. Hell no, Boo Saga. Ah, no. Uh, Earth Bear Fighters wasn't out at the time. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, and then look, look at Earthbred Fighters. Um, <laughs> you're, and even if then, if Earthbred Fighters was out at the time, you wasn't using this card on Earthbred Fighters because Earthbred Fighters is so stacked. And tournament participants is so stacked. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, with that um, being said, let me see is he on this guy's 200 percent yamsha is he on yamsha's 200 percent we haven't taken a look at the 200 percent leader skills we're gonna go back to this and we're gonna see um really what their leader skills are real quick i know i have a page pulled up for a look at their 200 percent leader skills but i want to go ahead and read the post easy at first um yeah no 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 yeah you are a 2023 unit and you are a 2022 unit right memory's a little hazy and my google chrome pages are going to load very very slowly but if i remember correctly you're the first earthbred fighters lead you're the second yamsha is 2022 okay i was correct specifically november all right that's the first earthbred fighters lead if i remember correctly and then goku comes out golden week of 2023 okay i i had to think about that for a second because man i had a crazy brain fart sorry guys i'm still a little bit tired because today was just a long day um so yeah yeah urban fighters it's like just i had to reconfirm in my brain that this category was not out at the time so yeah and tournament participants i'm pretty sure that tournament participants was introduced by 17 and 18 don't call that 17 and 18 i think and then tobo came next as the leader didn't he i think okay Anyways, I'm not even going to debate on that. Two categories. Boo Saga, World Tournament. You're not using this card in there. No. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah, yeah, nah. Well, yeah, nah. Boo Saga, no. Nah, probably not. Probably not. Maybe as a last option, but no. No, nah, I'd probably say no. All right, post EZA. Today's meta. Oh my god, I have to grind a double World Tournament this Friday. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, new leader skill is uh, three key and 100% stats, two physical types. So, of course, better for a for wherever you want to run it for. Like, I don't know, off meta content. Uh, brain's a little fuzzy. Let's just continue moving. Super attack, um, final cannon, extreme. 50% uh, attack and defense for one turn. And a 30% chance to further greatly raise their attack for one turn. So, they pretty much took a bite off of the... What's that? They took a bite off of the... I think the Int Domain Broly, as well as the Videl for this. 
this is going to be a thing going forward. Is there a unit that did this before in their super attack effect? Let me know if you guys know, because I I can't think right now. And of course, it's for one turn. So, um, passive, uh, puzzling rhythm. What's the passive over here? Peculiar rhythm. And then we got puzzling rhythm. Okay. 200% attack and defense is our turn. Cool. 150% attack and defense when facing only one enemy. Cool. Uh, what's that? 50% attack when performing a super attack. Um, could have been 50% attack and defense because considering it's a free to play world tournament easy a it could lose it could use not lose it could use as much defense as possible an additional 10% attack and defense when performing a super attack and a 10% chance to crit per tournament participants category ally on the team so you want tournament participants character for that attack defensive buff as well as that crit chance buildup as well as guaranteed dodge when HP is 60% or less. And then after that turn, he gets a 70% chance to dodge when HP 60% or less. That's much better. I would argue that's way more manageable for than it would be for the God event. Yeah, we're going to go off on a whim. No, you're not running this guy inside the God event. He had no team. Boo Saga, no. Maybe you can talk me in to this guy being like a final option for Boo Saga, but no. This is the only team you can run for him. Are you running him on double STR Super Vegito Steam? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe if you, but you had to add dupes in him. Had to build him full dodge. Um, what's his name? Moscow, Moscow, Moscow. Uh, doesn't he do like an AOE super? I think. Man, my brain is just just bad today. All right. 100% chance to dodge and 100% chance to crit HP is 30% or less, of course, for one turn. So that guaranteed dodge and guaranteed crit only for one turn when HP is 30% or less. Uh, probably not going to see this. But this, I would definitely say you can see this. Yeah. Now, okay. Um, Could you run this guy today? He, he doesn't seem too bad. But, guys... We have a bit of an issue. Let's read out his link set as well as his categories before we move on. Um, Super Saiyan, World Tournament Reborn, 20% attack. Um, more than meets the eye. Uh, the Innocence, Shocking Speed, Flea, and then Shattering the Limit. Um, and then his categories, World Tournament, Boo Saga, Earth Red Fighters, Tournament Participants. I gotta swing the block on just his link set real quick after this. Uh, so his 200% leader skills, he's only on this guy's 200% leader skill. You are not let me repeat myself you are not running this guy today you are not this guy right here takes too much damage with or without dupes in today's content you're not running 23rd world tournament goku hell no you're not which also directly means you're not running this guy at all. Because this guy on a non-200% leader skill is going to be hurt. Free-to-play units that are not on a 200% leader skill are hurt way more than units that are summonable that aren't on a 200% leader skill. Because this guy has free-to-play stats. Not even cracking 10,000 defense, guys. 10k. So, um, his best looking partner, I'm pretty sure it's just cheeks like this guy really you're not good you're outdated um i don't remember exactly what you do but i do remember you're a support type unit yeah tech fat boo absolutely best looking partner easily this guy said so slot one for him yeah um you know uh, you two guys hell no 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 absolutely not this whole line is a hell no um don't do you have dodge i don't remember but still no um, physical Rivian would probably be next up because tournament tar participants. Are you, you're not tournament participants. Ah, and you want tournament participants character. Uh, it's, ah, you want those tournament participants characters, but like, you know what? <sighs> okay. So best of good partner is just horrendous. Um, four key, 35% attack and 10% defense. Not even getting too much off of it. It's like, do we care that he's getting more attack than defense? Uh, that's it. That's it guys. Um, Maybe if you want to, like, do, you you, you want to just have fun and you just run this guy just to see what he can do, go right ahead. Um, it is nice in this card you can get two separate guaranteed dodge procs for each specific turn, as well as a 70% chance to dodge after the turn. Oh, I'm sorry, Jojo. I didn't even see my dog below me. Uh, After after his guaranteed dodge turn, he gets that 70% chance to dodge. 
Um, that's gonna be about it. I did not mean to nudge my dog. Yeah, because he's sleeping right below me. So that's gonna be it. Yeah, I don't really have much more to say. I, was, I said I was gonna swing the block on why this guy's missing categories and what his link set's looking like. It's like Super Saiyan makes sense. But here's one thing. Why does he have Super Saiyan if he's not in the Super Saiyan's category? L. Uh, we're, World Tournament Reborn. World Tournament Reborn. Guys, if there is going to exist a link that has little to no units equaling a bare bone like link why not make it strong isn't ultimate life form like a strong link isn't like a good link no uh, for sale but why 20 percent attack do we care if this guy's doing damage all right more than meets the eye i mean 10 percent attack and defense can't beat it i'm pretty sure that that tech uh mr boo my bad has it uh, the innocence just not good for this guy but it makes sense that it's on this guy because it's a goten and trunks unit shocking speed cool to have key in defense uh flea uh 10 percent chance not when hp 50 percent or less what i mean that's gonna wait wait will that mean that this guy gets up to a 80 percent chance to dodge after his guaranteed dodge turn when he's when he's below the hp threshold yeah this is interesting right here but granted flea who the hell is on flea? Let me see. Dear Lord. Um, and then we got the shattering limit, which makes sense. So Link said is just abysmal. He's on no relevant 200% of these skills, and he's only on one 200% of these skill. Um, a severe lack of categories. Why doesn't he have Super Saiyan? Um, why doesn't he have youth? Because it's Goten and fucking Trunks. Um, who had that comment? You're getting shouted out in this video. Uh, Franco GMZ, shout out to you, brother. You commented at Christmas of 2021, too. Hey, so merry, merry late Christmas. So no Super Saiyans is crazy. No youth, crazy. No joint forces, crazy. Uh, no gifted warriors, no bond of friendship. It is idiotic. It is. It is. It's stupid. It is very stupid. Um, so that's about it. Yeah. That's this card throughout all of its like its awakenings, its SSR to its pre-Dokan awakening, as well as its post easy a hey, not pre-Dokan awakening, but post post Dokan awakening. You guys get what I meant. So um that's about it. Uh, Mighty Mask, uh more like um Mighty Trash. No? <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Uh what, what was I gonna say? Um <laughs> Had a crazy brain fart again. I gotta go ahead and just take a nap. Uh, join the twenty four seven Discord server. A link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. And uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and that's gonna be all. Peace.